So in the last video, we have talked about Stargate, which is an API between your front end and the database, which helps you to convert your JSON, or not convert exactly, to save your JSON in the Cassandra database. So now, we, what we were doing is we were, we were using Swagger UI to create a collection, and we did that, right? We got an alien collection, and in that alien collection, now we want to insert some documents. Now, how do we do that? So you can see we have so many options, and now you tell me which one to click. Of course, it's a recorded video, but in the comment section, you can do that. I want to create one collection, right? Which one I should use? And you are right, we have to get document, right? So click on this one and click on try it out. It is asking you for the token, it's very easy. We have a token saved here. Also copy paste. The next thing it will ask you for is a namespace ID, which is Telisco doc. And the collection name is aliens, that's it. And now it's time to insert the data here. So basically this is a sample data, sample JSON, right? You can see the name is Naveen, age is 20, technology Java. So these are the values we have. Again, let me increase the font size just to make it visible. And once you do that, just click on, if you scroll down, it is, will ask you for the type, content type, which is JSON. Click on execute, it might take some time to execute. And yes, you can see the code which you received is 201. That means the data is created. And you can see we also got a document ID. So of course you can save this somewhere or uh, we'll add some more data. So if, you, if I go back, let me insert some more values. I would say Kiran, age is let's say 22, technology, I will say Android, and click on execute. Now we got two records. In fact, let me just add one more. Let me just verify, 201. Uh, let me add one more, which is Avni. Let's say age is 42. Technology is blockchain. And if I go back here, click on execute, I think I got the answer, yes. So you can see in total we got three records. Now how do you fetch those three records? So basically we got a collection of aliens in which you have three documents with three different names, Naveen, Kiran, and Avni. Of course, you know, one thing I have not done here, I'm going with the same thing. I should have gone with a different type of data. Maybe in one document, I could have age, or name, technology. In some other document, I could have some other information, maybe regarding laptops or maybe regarding uh, the property. Uh, doesn't matter. Maybe uh, the medical records. So we can save any type of data, and that's the beauty, because, because this is unstructured. Okay, now uh, we were able to create this, right? I want to fetch those collections. So if I can go back to get, and we already have our data here, click on execute. Last time it was giving me empty. Okay, this will give me my, the collection name, right? I want all the data. So we have to go for get, yeah, this one, get collection ID, uh, the token. Let's click on try it out, insert the token here. So that's our token, paste. It will ask you for the namespace ID. That's our namespace ID. The collection is aliens and I don't want to put any filters of now. Click on execute, it will give me everything. And you can see we got the document, multiple documents inside it. And we have uh, four, three records, yeah, right? So we got the data here, that's great. Not just this, you know, if you don't want to fetch everything, you can filter it out. Maybe I want to fetch one particular document ID, maybe I want to fetch this one. So I will just keep it copied in my text. So let's work with Naveen here. And what I will do now is, I will, so maybe I want to fetch only one. So in that case, you can mention the document ID, which is, we want to get document ID, right? So this one. So get document ID, of course, I have to enter the token every time you do that, you don't have a choice. So that's my token, Telisco doc, aliens, and document ID is this one. This is the document ID for Naveen. Copy and paste. Okay, nothing much. I don't want to put any much any more filter. And you can see we got only one record, which is Naveen now. So this is how you can fetch a particular element because every document need a uniqueness, some uniqueness to fetch, right? And document ID is a uniqueness here. Cool. In fact, you can delete one of the components. In fact, you can delete the entire document or you can delete a particular path from the document. Let's say I want to delete the technology from Naveen. In that case, any guess? In fact, you can try out all the options here, but since we don't have much time for a particular video, so let's keep it down. I want to delete a particular document path. So document path, delete. We want to delete that, uh, the technology. So first I have to insert the token, then there is called doc, then aliens. 
the document ID is this, okay, done. And now what you want to delete? I want to delete a uh, tech. Click on execute and done. Can you see that? We got 204 and that's a response. That means it is working. Anything with two that works, 200 series. Uh, it's not the error. Now, how do we know that we have removed it? So what we can do is we can go back to get collection ID, run this script. All the values are there because we have done that before. And you can see we have tech for Avni and Kiran, but not for Naveen. And that's the beauty, right? So this is how you can work with document in Cassandra. And remember Cassandra directly does not support document type. It gets converted with the help of stargate in between. So yeah, uh, that's it from this video. The assignment for you is try to insert more values and apply some filters uh, the where the value is matching with something with a range or something. And you will find all those types, all those uh, REST APIs or the API calls here, the endpoints here. Uh, you can even try delete, which we did. You can try with update, which is patch in this case for the update, we use patch. We'll use put for update. And yeah, try this out and let me in the comment section if you enjoyed. So that's it from this video. I hope you enjoyed. Let me in the comment section and do subscribe for further videos. Bye-bye.